Candace Parker and Chris Paul spoke to at-risk teens from the Urban Enrichment Institute about how they, too, can create positive social change. I don't know how much you guys know about, you know, the civil rights movement and different things that took place, but imagine you going somewhere that somebody telling you you're not supposed to be. You sitting there, you're not bothering anybody, and imagine people coming up to you start hitting you. What's going to be your first reaction? To fight. To fight, right? Everybody always say if somebody hits you and you don't do something back, you what? Weak. You weak, you a punk. Scary. Scary, all that stuff, right? So when we talk about Dr. King and the nonviolence, you know, that he was doing movements like this and they somehow, some way, didn't retaliate. But think about how strong you have to be. You know, I'm sure it was times where they had, what, like the water hose. Y'all ever seen that? Like the water hose, yeah. they was yeah. hitting them with or the, the, dogs, the dogs. And how many of you guys would be able to endure that without retaliating? I don't think I can do it. Not me. I don't think I can right. do it. Muhammad Ali, Bill Russell, they were all considered social activists. What they did wasn't always perceived as right. When you guys think of, like, activism, like, who, who comes to your mind now? Rosa Parks. Malcolm X. Colin Kaepernick. Ah, right. So what, what do you guys think about that? The first thing I thought about it was, like, I was kind of, like, awkward because in the fact that he took a knee during the national anthem, and the national anthem means a lot for those who, like, protect our country. So in my first mind, I was like, that's kind of, like, wrong. In my second mind, I was like, he did it for his own reason, and he spoke for what was right. And now that everyone sees that, oh, he can do it, I can do it too. It created conversation. No matter what side you were on, you, you ended up having to talk about it. I have a huge example uh, with everything that happened in Parkland, Florida, of a lot of young people that rallied together and fought gun violence. Why do you think that their voices were, were finally heard? Because a group of younger adults finally came together for a good cause to stop something bad. Say that as they talked and as they kept speaking on their uh, situation, more people joined in. And as they joined in, they grew and grew until they were heard. Because they, they didn't stop. They kept trying and trying and trying until somebody heard them. I think that I've learned just from watching others and obviously seeing our future leaders. I mean, our world is in, a, in good hands, I feel like. Absolutely. Because you guys have your heads on straight for sure. I learned a lot today.